first thing you're going to want to do is click the first link in the description. This is the wiki page for Insane Kart Wii. Now there are two main options for patching your copy of Mario Kart Wii to run Insane Kart Wii, and these will be Revolution and ISO Patcher. In this video will be going over Revolution because I think it's the superior option, and honestly it's a lot easier, but the ISO Patcher is pretty self-explanatory. So there's two main methods for patching via Revolution. If you're on Dolphin or consoles, either platform will work. What you can do is go over to any of these links up here from Google Drive to Monarch Mirror 3. Any of these links will work. If you have version 2.0 installed already, then you can install the patch. So we'll continue by downloading one of these. And it'll take you to if you'll click this little download button up here, alternatively the blue button in the center. And it's gonna say Google Drive can't scan this for viruses. Don't worry, the file is safe. Download times are gonna vary based on your internet connection, so just give it a minute. I mean walk away from your computer for a minute, get some water. And once that's done downloading, you're gonna wanna extract the file. There's several ways of doing this. Um, you could do it using the default Windows extractor by right clicking on the file and then clicking extract all and just extract it to the default location. So just click extract. Alternatively, you could use a program like 7-Zip or WinRAR to extract this into a folder. This step will also take some time given that it's a very large file and there's lots of files there's a file for every single track within here so just give it a minute and once that's done we're going to want to drag all of our files it should be around three folders plus a version.thf file you're going to drag all of those into the root of your sd card once all the files are moved onto the root of your sd card you can take it out and insert it into your Wii. For my Dolphin users, don't worry, I got you. So you're gonna wanna open up Dolphin and assuming you already have your Mario Kart Wii ROM, you're gonna right click on it, click start with revolution patches, and then drag all the files that were within the .zip file that you extracted before and drag them into that folder. It should say like Dolphin emulator, arrow load, arrow revolution. So now inside there, there should be an IKWE V2 folder, a MySpot folder, and a revolution folder. To actually run the game, you'll double click on revolution, click IKWE V2.xml, then click open, and then change the settings as you want to. In order to play IKWE, of course, you need to enable the pack. You can enable your my stuff, and then if you're on Dolphin, you can enable Dolphin Ghost Fix, which allows you to play against Staff Ghosts on Dolphin. You do not need a NAND to play in Sankar Wii, so just hop on Retro WFC and you can play online. Hope this helps. Enjoy!